Hello and welcome to a new episode of Roses Are Red. Have you ever wanted to get away from everything and start over at a new place or a new country? Many people have emigrated. Things have not always gotten better. Often they have found that they take their problems with them. And the problem was not with the environment but with themselves. For some people things have gotten better, but sometimes that was just because they also changed their attitude towards life by moving. However, one thing is undeniable about moving to another country. It's a challenge and we grow with our challenges. The biggest one would be a country we know of but nobody has ever set foot on. The planet is a bit smaller than Africa, number 4 from the Sun, half the diameter of Earth, with a landmass slightly less than the total area of Earth's dry land. It is also less dense than Earth, resulting in 11% of Earth's mass, therefore you would only weigh 38% of your weight on Earth. The average distance from the Sun is 230 million kilometers and it orbits the Sun once in 687 days. A day on it is only slightly longer than on Earth, 24 hours, 39 minutes and 35 seconds. The axial tilt of a bit over 25 degrees is similar to that of Earth. As a result there are seasons like on Earth, though they are nearly twice as long because the orbital period is that much longer. Due to the absence of a large moon that could stabilize the axis of the planet, probably it shifted a lot over a large period of time. But it has two very small moons, which may be captured asteroids. One is Phobos, which means panic or fear, about 22 kilometers in diameter. The tidal forces from the planet are gradually lowering its orbit. Therefore in about 50 million years it could either crash onto the planet's surface or break up into a ring structure. The other one is Deimos, which means terror or dread, about 12 kilometers in diameter. By the way, Jonathan Swift referred to the moons of Mars about 150 years before the actual discovery in the 19th chapter of his novel Gulliver's Travels. As the planet is very visible in the sky on Earth and it has a red tint, we also know it as the red planet. This has been associated with blood or fire in a lot of cultures, therefore war. Like in ancient Greece where it has been associated with the god of war, Ares, or its Roman counterpart, Mars. This is also the basis of the name of the month March, from Latin Martius Mensis, month of Mars, as well as of Tuesday, which was the day of Mars, based on the old Anglo-Saxon god Tu, who was identified with the Roman god. In different cultures, Mars represents masculinity and youth. Its symbol, a circle with an arrow pointing to the upper right, is also used as a symbol for the male gender in biology. Galileo Galilei was the first person to see Mars via telescope in 1610. The first person to draw a map of surface features on Mars was the Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens. When the resolution of the telescopes reached a level sufficient for identifying surface features properly, the Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli produced an even more detailed map 1877. He noted features he called canali, to which he gave the names of famous rivers on earth. The term only means channels or grooves, which was mistranslated into English as canals. These sparked ideas of Martian nature and biology. Many science fiction stories were based on supposed Martians. A lot of people, also famous ones, fell for the phenomenon sometimes called Mars fever around 1900. Nikola Tesla, for example, was convinced he received a radio transmission from Mars. H.G. Wells wrote about the War of the Worlds, in which Martians invade planet Earth with tripods. Also there were Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles or Edgar Rice Burroughs' Bazoom series. Based on the War of the Worlds, in 1938 there was a radio drama narrated by Orson Welles that caused a bit of panic as some listeners took it for real. Even up to the 1960s articles were published on Martian biology and people were interpreting images of surface features being constructed of biological origin like the pyramids and the face on Mars. This is a sport that is even practiced today in YouTube videos. 
Carl Sagan once wrote, Mars has become a kind of mythic arena onto which we have projected our earthly hopes and fears. After the first spacecrafts had returned pictures of the surface, we saw that it was an apparently lifeless and canalless world. The reason for the red color of Mars is iron oxide, also called rust. The planet dips only shortly into the habitable zone when it is closest to the sun, but in general it is too cold for liquid water to exist over longer times. We know already there is a lot of frozen water there. We also know there has been flowing water in the past by looking at certain land formations. Most of the water is frozen at the poles probably 70% water ice and the rest dry ice. When the atmosphere that consists of 96% CO2 freezes partially. Also because the atmospheric pressure is only 1% of that on earth, it is difficult for liquid water to exist. But clouds of water vapor have been observed. Due to the thin atmosphere unable to store heat, the surface temperatures vary from minus 143 degrees Celsius at the winter polar caps to highs of up to 35 degrees in equatorial summer. The planet is also further from the sun than earth, resulting in just 43% of the amount of sunlight. The atmosphere is quite dusty. There are regular global dust storms reaching speeds of over 160 km per hour, as well as small dust devils. Mars is nearly geologically dead. Volcanic activity is quite rare. But it created Olympus Mons in the past, the largest volcano and highest known mountain on any planet in the solar system. Two and a half times the height of Mount Everest and approximately 550 km wide. Still, Mars is seismically active. Hundreds of Mars quakes have been detected. So that means the interior is still active. Then there is Valles Marineris, one of the largest canyons in the solar system. With a length of 4000 km and a depth of up to 7 km. The Grand Canyon on Earth is only 446 km long and 2 km deep. Mars is spotted with 43,000 impact craters with a diameter of 5 km or greater. It might have been hit more often than Earth as it is closer to the asteroid belt. Even caves have been found in the flanks of the volcano Arcea Mons. Seven entrances have been detected and named after the loved ones of their discoverers, collectively known as the Seven Sisters. The entrances measure from 100 to 250 meters wide and they are probably at least from 70 to 100 meters deep. The interiors of these caverns may be protected from micrometeorites, UV radiation and high energy particles bombarding the planet's surface. Because Mars does also not have a global magnetic field, therefore the solar wind interacts directly with the Martian ionosphere, lowering the atmospheric density by stripping away atoms from the outer layer. Dozens of crewless spacecraft, including orbiters, landers and rovers, have been successfully sent to Mars. By countries as the Soviet Union, the United States, Europe, India and the United Arab Emirates. As of 2021, Mars is host to 11 functioning spacecraft, 8 in orbit and 3 on the surface. The most recent mission by NASA includes the rover Perseverance and helicopter Ingenuity that became the first device of that kind flying on another planet. The mission will also cache samples for future retrieval and return of them to Earth. SpaceX founder Elon Musk presented a plan in 2016 to launch a crewed mission to Mars, which is not expected to take place before 2027. The NASA Authorization Act of 2017 includes a plan for NASA to get humans near or on the surface of Mars by the early 2030s. The question if Mars ever was habitable for life and it existed in the past or still exists in microscopic form is still unanswered. Many times there were headlines about evidence that has been found, but until now there was no irrefutable one. So while we wonder about the future of life from Earth on Mars, let's close the episode with some of the best images of all rovers that have been taken by now.
If you like my videos, please press the recording button, share, subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon. Because I'm 1.14.15 and the real world is incredible.